Here we have a snowflake that only has one row of crochet. You make a ring and crochet the one row into the ring. This here one is cotton thread and these two are wool. This one and this one I have hardened them using white glue and water. This here one hasn't been hardened but just uh, blocked so that it's flat. This here shows the repeat so we are simply going to make this six times. So let's start. I'm actually using lilac wool so you see better what I'm doing. First we need a ring with nine chain stitches. Chaining nine. Eight. Nine. And then I'm closing it into a ring using a slip stitch. I'm going to leave the end of the yarn inside the stitches so then I can later just cut it off. First we need a cluster of three double crochets and uh, in this first one I replace the first one using just two chain stitches and then a double crochet into the ring and in such a way that you leave the last stitch on the hook so don't finish it off right away and then another one so now you have three of these on the hook and then you pull the yarn through all of them at once which sort of ties it together at the top after that chain 15 15 14, 15 and then we make a loop so that we attach it to the sixth from the start of this here chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a slip stitch through there like this next we chain 7 7 Seven. and then to create a sort of a point we go back on this using slip stitches not the very first one but then after that a slip stitch through there and four like this two three four so we are here and then continue similar way but just four chain stitches four four and then again two slip stitches on this sort of coming back from there there and then to make the point three chain stitches and two into them. And that again, three, chain three and back two. That forms the tip of the point. So I'll attach it here at the base of these three with the slip stitch. So now it looks like this here. And then I need to get to here. So a few slip stitches again. Actually just two. Uh, I took both of these just so that I will it will be tighter. Then chain five
and get back to here with four like that so now it has that on both sides and then continue here and now I'm making the loop on the other side of this 9, chaining 9 again up to here slip stitches so now we have the top bit done and then and then we're going to make this here smaller bit first you chain two and then uh, we need to make a treble that goes into here uh, two yarn overs and then a treble so each time you pull the yarn through two loops two and two then five chain five Three, four, five, and this makes a, a loop again here. Through both, I would normally take them both through both of these to attach. This is a bit like a pico, but it's actually bigger and has a hole in the middle. And then you chain two, and that's actually one repeat done. So then you start again from here, from the beginning. The only thing is that you start, start slightly differently because here we started from the beginning. Now we are already at this here point. So um, pull this tighter. So the next thing and all the other ones after that actually start then directly with the double crochet. So I'll make three double crochets here so that I always leave the last loop on the hook. three uh, so now I have four stitches on the hook and I pull all of that through at one go and then I continue making one like this here so uh, start with chaining 15 so you need six of these to make it a snowflake and as you continue working you need to tighten here so that it all fits into the ring and when you have done it right round then at the end you attach the last bit like this into here with a slip stitch after the last two chain stitches so that it makes a round 